a lot of people have this approach of like, oh, both sides are the same. One one side can't be correct about everything. I'm a centrist. I'm smarter than both sides. And we call those people gay. And then you've got other people who take this approach of, oh, well, right wing means small government. Left wing means big government, which means that fascism and communism are the same thing, which is why they fought a brutal war against each other. And this makes sense to me. And it makes sense to him because he is a part of another group that we call retarded. So the point being, because obviously we're joking, we're busting your chops. It's all in good fun. But the point is that there is a core difference between the two philosophies, regardless of whether those who claim to represent them in government actually demonstrate that. And it is essentially the acceptance or rejection of hierarchy. It is equality versus hierarchy. It is idealism versus reality and or pragmatism. It is nurture versus nature. Think about that because those are the differences. Um, and I don't want to get too deep into this in this particular video, but I'll give you some examples here. So the right wing individual acknowledges nature. He acknowledges that there are natural differences, that some things are objectively better than others, that some people are more skilled in certain areas and weaker in other areas, that no two people are exactly alike or equal, etc. He acknowledges that human nature is flawed. And because of this, he does not support these utopian ideas because they would never work. And of course, they've failed every time they've been tried. And because he acknowledges nature, he believes that it is better to live in accordance with it um, instead of trying to like challenge it. And because he acknowledges that man is flawed, he is skeptical of man and of human nature. This is why he takes his right to defend himself very seriously, etc. The left-wing individual is exactly opposite. Like the founders of liberalism, which is just proto-leftism because in a long enough timeline, liberalism will logically devolve into leftism because of the natural progressions of the conclusions upon which liberalism is based. Uh, see the United States of America. It is unavoidable. We touched on this more heavily in the last video that we did. But like the founder of liberalism, John Locke, the left-wing individual believes that all people are equal. Not that they should just be treated equally, like literally they are equal. And that any differences between them are just a result of their environments. Maybe they grew up poor or oppressed, etc. And that we could achieve total equality with the elimination of those differences through an apparatus with enough power to do so, such as the state. He also believes that people are basically good and that because of this, everyone should just be free to do whatever they want, whatever makes them happy. And the only problems in the world are when people who must be driven by this like blind, irrational hatred, they come in and they say, sometimes people should not be allowed to do certain things. Or maybe that blind, irrational hatred leads them to oppress or discriminate against people. And this is why whenever something bad happens or whenever people are in bad circumstances, it can always be fixed by just giving them more money, giving them more access to opportunities, giving them housing, etc. And if someone points out that literally none of these things has ever fixed anything, well, then he will highlight that to suggest that is racist and he'll try to lose that person their job. And because everyone is the same and nature is nothing but a concept, the only things that bind us are all socially constructed. Therefore, if I want to be a woman, I can be a woman by simply declaring it because I'm a hyper-autonomous individual. If I want to abort my child, I can abort my child because it is inconvenient to my desires, which when stripped of all identity and everything else in order to achieve that status as the hyper-autonomous individual, that's all that remains to define me, desire. There's no such thing as culture, as country, morality, gender. It's all man-made. I am bound by none of it. It is all about me. I believe that human nature is basically good because I'm a narcissist who believes that they're a good person who can do no wrong. And that's why policies are judged by their intentions instead of their results because their results are mean. And that's basically what it boils down to. And you can prove this to yourself by running it, uh, like the simple thought experiments, and it works every time. You just take any point of disagreement between the left and the right, and 100% of the time, it can be traced back to the rejection versus the acknowledgement of nature, of hierarchy, and of reality. 100% of the time, that is the difference. Do we acknowledge what is objective, what is natural, and work to live in accordance with it, or do we reject it in favor of these subjective desires, like what we feel should be? That is the defining question between the two.